Good morning. <laughs> we are all in the car, nice and toasty warm, heading to the Winchester Christmas markets with our chauffeur. Jane, do you know anything about Winchester? No. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> no, I was here as a student for, I was at King Alfred's College here for a term. And I stayed down in a lovely place right by the uh, cathedral um, with the choir master and his wife, which is in the cloisters. Uh -huh. But I'll show you that. I do know a couple things about it. This I know this was like the capital of Alfred and the families around Alfred, Ethelred ruled Wessex and then United England. And then this would have been the capital of like maybe the first what we would call England. Okay, we learned a little bit about uh, about Winchester. We stopped in the uh, Visitor Information Center. There are some Roman artifacts in uh, Winchester in, in the UK. If any city that has Chester in the name was a Roman city at one time. So this Christmas markets. Merry Christmas. It's Rick Steen, Rick Steve's competitor. the upcycling store they've recycled everything here oh, this yeah. stuff. okay that booth had all kinds of cool buttons star wars and marvel and stuff and he gave me the pin off his hat Okay, here's a nice map of uh, Winchester, and uh, we, we parked somewhere up in this area and walked down the Broadway, and then up toward the, uh, here's the uh, Alfred statue right here. And then we've made it up High Street, and we're now over here at the uh, City Museum, and we're going to make our way to the cathedral. The Christmas markets are all on the uh, backside of uh, the cathedral. Architecture. Hey, look at look at this. This looks this looks something. This is super fancy. Look at that. Mold wine. That is definitely it. How much? I gotta have some of that. Look at this. That is some cauldron. Okay, here we found the uh, Winchester Cathedral Christmas Market. It's tucked in here under all the buttresses of the cathedral. Okay, here's a section called the Maker's Market. So I'm guessing these are all people who are doing crafts and things. Handmade, arts and crafts, the Scotch Egg Store. Wara with Wow, Rainless. that's Aquamarine right there. This yeah. is, look at that. That's beautiful. Can you set that in a ring for me? ring, <laughs> <laughs> It's time for some flapjacks with the flapjackery. 
Oh, yeah, there it is. That's nice. Nice fox. Foxy, two foxes. Here you go, here's a, uh, you can put yourself in the nativity scene. Chestnuts roasting on an open flame. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> it was cool. Is there a dragon underneath? I don't know. Yeah, it could be, yeah, like Harry Potter. Uh -huh. Yum. This is Jane's house from college. I'm sorry, if you call it college, it's university. Yes, well, my first time. <laughs> okay, we are in uh, Winchester Cathedral. This was built uh, over a 120 year period. Um, it's about a thousand years old. So Tamara found out that in 828 is when Winchester became the capital of England. And then what do you say, the Norman? 1079 building starts on the Norman Cathedral. So there's a Norman Cathedral here that started in 1079 on the site. This is the uh, grave of Jane Austen. Okay, the original Norman East end of the cathedral, built on the crypt, and we're going to... All right, we think Canute the Great is buried under this old Norman church in the crypt somewhere, so not sure if it's like on the sides of the walls or where there's like some glass insets. We're in the back of the church near the old Norman chapel. And this grave is Godfrey de Lucy, a bishop who was thought to have planned out the cathedral. I think we found Canute. It's been quite a, a, a search, like hide and seek here. Oh, Tamara found it. Look at these boxes. There's a boxes, yes, above the... So the remains are scattered in all these boxes. During the uh, English Civil War, the the... The chapel, the cathedral, was kind of uh, torn apart and ashes were scattered. And so there's, like, Canute is probably in each of these boxes. This is fantastic. Okay, we're sure to, pretty sure part of it is in this one right here. And it says, Edredus Rex. So these are all like remains of the kings that were buried in, in uh, Winchester Cathedral that got scattered. It was here. It says it's one of the oldest surviving choirs in England. Took the elevator up to the second floor where there's a history of the church. We're gonna just make a whirlwind tour through here. That was the first um, cathedral that was here from the 950s. There's a nice display up here of the boxes we were looking at. It had the different boat and then what it would look like inside with just the different mixes of bones and stuff. That was Queen Emma, the wife of Canute, in that case. All splayed out. All right.
right, that's, that was the Winchester Bible inside there. That's like the 800 year old Bible that has gold gilt on it and uh, hand painted and on calfskin. Okay, if you want to know the history of England, it started here in Winchester. So come see the uh, Winchester Cathedral. Where is that? Right there? Oldest bar in England. Okay, we're going to go check out this royal. We were intrigued by the oldest bar in England sign. So we're going to check out and see what it looks like. Oh, here. Built in 1002. Let's peek inside there. Take a look in. We just want to peek in and take a quick video. <laughs> Okay, we'd really like a beer, but it's just slightly too early and we're heading to a, a really nice pub here in about 45 minutes. Oh yeah, look to the left. The rail is to the left? Or the... No, the round table. Look, we oh, found yeah. it. The great hall and the round table. Winchester, the capital of England. Great castle stood right spot. here. You can see it, the castle passageway is down here. When Winchester was the capital of England, a big castle stood here. And this is kind of how it looked right here. Might have to pay. Okay, we found the round table. I don't think they sat on the wall, but it's sitting on the wall there. So this is where... It's there. I mean, it's got King Arthur's name. There's where he sat, right, at the, right up there at the top. <laughs> this is super cool. Okay, that round table has been here for about 700 years. It dates to around 1250. Is that crazy? Oh, oh look, it's a dragon. <laughs> oh, that's very sexy. We've got all these uh, dress-up clothes here that you can kids can wear and pretend like they're part of the round table. Oh, you got the dragon head too. That's nice. I can. I'm gonna. I'm, I'll be Saint George. You be the dragon. I see a dragon in that cave. Uh, uh, it's a Christmas dragon. Uh, uh, uh. Ah. Yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry, dragon. Let me kiss you and make it better. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, my obligatory crushed penny. Ugh. Perfect. It's a very small round table. Tamara was just telling me that uh, the hall is what's left of the Winchester Castle. Okay. And so I guess that's what we saw when we first walked in, the stone, that stonework. That's William the Conqueror, right? 1066. 1066 would be William the Conqueror. Yeah, did he build, so he built the castle here. Yeah, one of his uh, many, maybe it started as a Mott and Bailey castle, kind of like all his many castles, the Tower of London and those, so. Look who we found. Uh, I am doing just fine, yes. We've had plenty of rest. Is this the town hall? I think so, yeah, because the mayor's quarters are next door, so I would guess it's the town. It certainly looks like it is. Okay, what did you guys think of the uh, of the Winchester? There was, there was a high street market and then the cathedral market, both the of them together. The cathedral market is definitely worth it. Outstanding. I worth the visit. I know I don't have much to answer here, but yeah. I don't <laughs> Yeah, the setting, the, oh, the fact that all the stalls were beautiful. underneath the buttresses. And, and the variety. Yeah, and the super fancy mold wine. <laughs> and yeah, like you said, the variety of... Uh, yeah, I know, mold wine everywhere.
me actually. Nice. And then but he wanted to do engineering, but he wanted a year off just to pay for it. I'm so sorry, she didn't want to sell it. Is that real? Oh, yes. He looks cold. It is. Hi, are you cold? It's chilly. Okay, we are at the Mayfly Pub 1880, right here on this very nice, looks like a trout stream almost. Look at that. That is fantastic. <laughs> oh, I love this place. Okay, the mayfly, that was pretty cool. It's the uh, mayfly is actually like a fishing lure or something, but man, they have a, this is like the outdoor deck. It is right on the screen. Okay, we're here at a wonderful uh, Indian restaurant and um, trying the uh, and uh, garlic naan. It's delicious. So you can see how hot this is. Here we go. Scott eating, uh, Scott, what is it? Madras? This is the Madras, which is the hot and hot. So it's the hot, hot. Thing. Yeah, the jacket. The jacket is red. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, he's, he's managed it. Yeah, it's, it's good. really good. Yeah, it's I like good. it. When I turn this flavor. off, he's going to head for the water jump. Yeah. Under the table. Gone under the table. Okay. So, Bailey in Greyshot Village. Scott eating the hot stuff. It's really good. It I'm is really this. good. Yeah, but when I turn this really off, good. he might be running off yeah. to the bar. Something different. Do you want to try it? This is good. This is good. Do you want to try it?